This is your angry, lovable widower and the next president of the United States, Prince DJ. And stop it. I'm still going to go anyway. Stop it. Stop it. I'm angry. Because, okay, I wanted to give myself uh, some stuff, which I kind of sort of did. I wanted to help my roommate get some... Come on! Come on! I wanted to get some stuff, and I also wanted to get uh, my roommate some milk because he was out of milk, and that was going to help him because he had to drive me, even though he had to go to the store anyway. But, you know, but shout out to him. I said that on the video uh, for the uh, citizens of Big D Country that listen to it on YouTube. Uh, I don't have to do this for the YouTube because I already did the video. But anyway, anywho. So, okay, so since he had to go to the store, he picked me up. And then we went to the store. Remember the first Nightmare store? The one that I went, the one I stood, the, 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 showed the pictures of the, of the clothes? Guess what? Oh, Chris DJ. And he brought enforcement. They don't, we don't want them to come. Let's close it again. Let's close it again. So he don't, don't get what he needs. So he can't use the food stand. Now, my roommate had a good, really good theory. He said that maybe that there's shorter staff, and I wish I would have said that on the video, but maybe that there was shorter staff, or maybe there was a, 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 a remodeling the place. But why at the wrong time? So that made us go into not one store, but two stores. I'll tell you about that, even though I did it on the video, because I'm so hopping mad. I'm paranoid, because what they have doing at Walmart Self Chat, they're putting people in jail for... Happened to put stuff back on the self checkout. They even they even arrested a disabled man for that. They even arrested him. Why do you think I'm paranoid now? I always have to go to a checkout with help because there is no way to hell that I'm ever going to a, to a self checkout. No way to hell. Okay, I was only able to get four uh four items. We lost our buying power. We don't have a buying power anymore. Okay, the only thing I get was able to get was the rare rarity, and I like the taco chips. I was going to get two, couldn't do that. I was only able to get one. Then I got three things of hot pockets. I got one. I got one of them. Yeah, one of them was the pepperoni pizza. That was one. The other one was the Philly uh, Philly steak and cheese, and it looked good too. And the other one, yeah, the third. Well, not the other two. The one with the um. Uh, uh, make a country fried chicken bowl, but there's like five or six days until the 31st, and then I got a deposit for going to Galveston. And that's like, oh, I come back from uh, home from podcast. No, podcast movement is uh, podcast movement is home, not here. Podcast movement is home. This is just the intern second palace. Podcast movement and podcast and carnival cruise that's home. That's where I can more likely be myself. I can't be myself here. Although I did have a cool roommate that uh, what uh, that's going to get an award, uh, which I gave him the gas caps. But we went to the second store. It was like a World War Three apocalypse when it comes to the frozen food. Like sometimes the food must, uh, usually be in the back, but this time it was the food was on the left side. Some stores have it on the right side. This time it happened on the left side. The roommate told me I thought it, I thought he was joking. I thought it was I thought it was pranking. But when I got there, when I finally got up there, because I was so disoriented because it's so hot, there's no air conditioning at the store. Not even a fan. I can I can understand a fan, but there's no goddamn air conditioning in the store. Okay. All right. So when we when I got when I finally got to the side, I mean there was literally nothing in the freezer. I mean it was like old Mother Hubbard, like I said in the video. It was like old Mother Hubbard, that nursing rhyme. You know about the part where the couple was bare. Okay. I mean, not only there was no milk, there was no juice, there was no pasteurized water or uh, 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 packaged water, there was no frozen food, there was even no burrito. There wasn't even no burrito that you could get for a couple of dollars. How the hell are you going to run a store like that? I asked you, just like I did in the video, how the fuck are you going to run a store like that? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Then we went to the last place. 
The third play, third time to turn, right? Number one, it was crowded. I could definitely understand why. I could definitely see why it was crowded. Okay, because two of the places were epic fails. Then the third play, thankfully, it was only a short, small line. Thank God. I didn't know I had to pass out. And if I would have walked, I would have been I would have been a goner. I would have been I would have been definitely a goner. Oh, but, but before I get to the rest of the story, I forgot to mention this in the video. I forgot, I forgot to mention this in the video. Remember that ambulance ride that uh that I had to take when I was sick on June fifth, like the uh, literally like the the week of June when I um you know not done here about a week or something like that. I got a bill from them. Sit down. Get ready to sit down. It's two hundred and fifty dollars. What? Two hundred and fifty dollars. That's right. That's right. So now let me get back to the regular story. I was only by able to buy four items and no drink me. Meaning I don't have tap water. Meaning, nasty, ugly, dirty tap water. That's why I try to get mixed drink mix into the water. I'm paranoid now. Not only because they're arresting people for not having the right items and not showing which one to put put, put back. Hey, I'm not no math genius. I was only able to get two Hot Pockets, a Mega Bowl, and three of those Taco. Uh, taco chip, which it's re- it's a rare hard to find. Not even in Walmart. Not even in the Walmart uh, online delivery. It's rarely hard that I find it. It was just the jackpot that I found. I was going to get two, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I was going to get a three minute, but I couldn't. Now, thankfully, there is a silver line in this whole fiasco nightmare. I was able to get the uh, my roommate uh, who, who who helped me out the, the milk that he needed. He only needed a pint of milk, but I guess he was cooking uh, chicken and stuff like that. But still, we don't have spending power anymore. The poor doesn't have spending power. I got to, I got to deposit. I got to put money for the list for my trip. Not only for the trip in um in a uh, 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 Denver. But also, hopefully the whole seventy dollars for Galveston when I move on the thirty first. That's my exile. This is This is absolutely a sham. This is a scam that people is going on here. This is ridiculous. How the hell you're not going to be able to buy things with twenty three dollars and that's all you had? How the hell you only going to have three, three or four items or whatever, and then you want to try to help somebody and it's almost like you can't. I even told my roommate that man, this is what I get for living in poverty or being disabled. And well, I was literally, I was literally born disabled, y'all. Nineteen seventy three, I was born disabled, y'all, and the rest came later. This is a bunch of bullshit. Almost thought I had a heart attack when I when I was just getting up, and I got to get into more bullshit when I was trying to help my uh, trying to help my roommate. This is ridiculous. This is some kind of scam. I don't believe this. Twenty three dollars for only four fucking items, four or five fucking items. 